morning, everybody. I just wanted to pull out the camera and show you that this is where I got pulled over on our college program. There was a speed trap. <laughs> Sarah was flying through this 45 at like 60. I was at 60 and it was over $100. And let me tell you, 19 year old Sarah, did you know, sir, at the end of your college program, if you ever did a did college program, have over $100. you don't got money. You Spare. spend all your money on nachos and Christmas parties Christmas parties and theme park merchandise. <laughs> but we're going to a cool event right now. Yes, we're I'll going, show you. Yeah. We got invited. Did we show this at all? We didn't we show the well. We mentioned it. We mentioned it It's a new escape room on International Drive. It's called the Escape Effect. Well, the building has been there for like six months, but it's a new game that they're starting this week. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. It's super awesome that we got invited to it. Yay! So that's our little invitation. It's all cute, like Art Deco style. The packaging was really fun. We did not expect it in the mail. Yeah, I don't so. know how they found us or like it wasn't like I've reached out to other like parks or organizations before, um, but I didn't. I've never even heard of this place. Like one day I just went to go to the P.O. box and the box was there and I was like, what? And also don't mind that slobber on the window. That's Eve's. It's Eve's and we have to take her to the vet again so it's going to happen soon. Probably again. So we'll watch it after. And but if you're ever wondering what that was. Last thing, we're on iDrive and if you do the college program, two, three of the four housing complexes are down Aww. the street. The little like Brian. Um, wow. Maybe one day we'll. Brings back the memories. Yeah. yeah we want to do a video but it's hard because it's been seven years. <laughs> Here we are. The escape effect, looking fancy and cool. Sarah's super nervous. I'm nervous. I'm super excited, but look at this cool car. Explore, solve, conquer. Okay, well, there's a chocolate museum next door. We'll go there. If, 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 we, if we can escape, we will go to the chocolate. Take a look down the hall, it's creepy. Look at that. So these are like the different game rooms they have. So they opened up last fall. I think it opened up with at Odds with the Gods, not at Sherlock Studies. This is the newest one. But we're here, we're just waiting to get checked in. And we're gonna get going, we have a 12 o'clock game. Check it out. This is a big thank you to Katie who was with us yesterday. She gave us a coupon, buy one, get one. And we finished we finished the escape room. We did with We failed though. We failed, we finished it with an extra 14 minutes. So we yes. were like able to chit chat. But that was super cool. We love it. And Peter was like so I was freaking good. out the whole time. We um will definitely be going back. Um, and I think like the prices there is a 60 minute room, a 75, 75 and a 90. And a 90 minute room. And the prices range from $32 to $42 a person. Ten, ages 10 and up. Ages 10 and up, yeah. You could bring younger, but like so they don't, they like want you to be involved. Right. And so some of the tasks are like for more of the older mind. Right. And you guys know we love that um, detonate the bomb game, the yeah. keep talking and no one explodes. So it's and like, board games I feel like we've been preparing the whole life. Yes, it was a lot, a lot of fun. I hope the montage that we took was good because we didn't want to, we were talking to the owner about like how much we could show without exposing the secrets or giving away too much. Um, it's really close to Disney. It's actually between Disney and SeaWorld. Um, really good, really good location. So if you're in the area, to do maybe on a rest day or you have a car and you just want to try out something different, especially people who are here longer, definitely something that. It was. I want to go back. Like, like there's two other rooms and they're premiering a third and, and they're going to do a Kickstarter for a third or a new room that they're going to do a fourth room. But they've got three different rooms. We only did the one. I want to go back into the other two. Um, but maybe like when we've got people to go with us. I want to go back like right now. I'm like super mad. Like the ones that like we like they're like you can ask for help. Like there's a button to help. Like every 15 minutes you're allowed to help. And um, we use that a couple times just because like we're not as like Mission Impossible cool secret puzzle things. Like we get too involved sometimes. And like it's like darn it. We, yeah, it was our first time doing one of those rooms. It was like that's what they were thinking about. That's what they wanted us to do. Totally could have seen it, but it was. Probably one of the most fun things we've done. Like I put a top five since we lived here mm -hmm. of like unique experiences outside of Disney. I'm sorry, I'm just so hungry. Yeah, I'm starving. This, 
this is gonna be gone in three seconds. I don't even know the last time we pulled this camera out. I had a wardrobe change. Sarah had a, wear, a hairdo change. We're at Disney Springs. We're meeting uh, Chelsea and her family up because they're here for vacation. Our, our reservation's not until 9.45 tonight, so we're gonna do Disney Springs. Disney Springs and then Happy Ever after. after on the boat. On the boat? <laughs> on the beach. On the beach. Um, and then Ohana. Yeah. That's why I got my own. This is like, it's kind of like my Ohana shirt. Is it really? First of all, it's raining, but look at the uh, the new arches. Ooh. New Spanish restaurant. It's raining. It's well, look at this. Here's the uh, the new Wolf King Puck restaurant. It's got a lot more support up since last time we saw it. I, know. I like how that's all wood though, and the other one was all metal. Steel. Are you so excited? Approximately how many pot stickers are you gonna eat? If I don't eat noodles or bread, maybe I'll beat my 10 and do 11. Oh, so how many pounds of noodles are you gonna eat? No, no noodles. You're gonna eat some noodles, I know. And bread, you're not gonna not be able to do those? This is Ohana, this is a vacation dinner, it doesn't count. <laughs> I want less than I barely eat any like steak or chicken. So I want. I want all the good. I'm gonna eat as much as is it that is socially acceptable. There are how many of us? Eight. Eight of us. So they're gonna. Have to We're gonna have to bring a lot bring of pasta. So like whatever they want for the seven others, I'm just gonna have that amount, and then I'll bring out an additional seven amounts for that. I feel like that. I could eat my own bread pudding. <laughs> I could too. He made this reservation probably before Christmas. No, he made this like at like his 13th birthday. <laughs> this Feels is, like this it. is what he's here for. We finally made it. We got our lace. The final countdown. Final countdown. Now we should check in and begin the feast. <laughs> Peter, 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 This is the first time we've Christmas. This is Christmas, but it's Christmas. They know Chris. She's the best. Look at this chair. We are more than ready. You gotta go get daddy. With my mind power. Daddy's more like This is the worst thing ever. The most he's ever this had. <laughs> Hold on. This was the definition of like unresponsible. I feel bad for humanity of how this I just was. Yeah. I, feel I had 11 pot stickers, so I I'm beat my. Okay. Peter beat me. By Let's seven. just say that. And something unheard, unheard of ever in the history of Ohana. Let me show you. Our cousin. I can't look at him, but I'll show you. <laughs> Gave us something to go home. <laughs> oh my oh, god. Oh, I saw him. It was a doozy of a night. So contrary to like, the couple like slip-ups we've had, when we, we've still been eating better than we did in Chicago. Or, the first or when we months. first got here, but yeah. When we eat bad, we're still like portion controlling. Like, we were talking to Ben and Carolyn, and they were like, wow, like, yeah, you guys ate Taco Bell at midnight that night, but it was only one and a half things each. Like, we could have gotten like, Ten each. I think my stomach is honestly shrunken since the last time we ate Ohana with Chelsea and Cole. 
and I've, I ate the most I've ever eaten tonight. <laughs> and I'm not okay. <laughs> Don't get me on camera. Oh. Peter's crying because he's so full. <laughs> oh no. He's the fullest he's ever. <laughs> <laughs> We're home and we're tired and we're absolutely full. Absolutely full. <laughs> but it was a great day. Great little extension of the weekend. And yeah. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow we'll go back to our regularly scheduled events. Mm -hmm. Probably go to the park tomorrow. Yeah, that's we'll the plan. See. It's, it's good, good to, to be, be home. home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>